Hey, it's John. Um, so, I saw a lot of folks uh, are getting stoked for the architecture destruction stuff to come. Uh, the paint is starting to ship. But there's a few folks asking about how to paint this, uh, how they get painted like this. And it's actually pretty simple. It's actually very easy, to be honest. And it doesn't take a lot of tools. Um, so first off, the stuff comes black. It, it's, it's, if you can see this, the base colors is black. Um, I, I primered none of this. None of this is primer. No black spray paint, nothing like that. Um, what I did is there's two different paint schemes here. There's basically, these two are the same, and this is a different scheme, and I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, the way I did this was I initially used very cheap paint. I mean, I used cheap paint on this whole thing. Um, I used this stuff here, uh, kind of a neutral gray, uh, just a tad darker than neutral gray maybe, uh, and dry brushed the hell out of it. Um, I did one, you know, and the way I did this too is I would do this in strips of, um, so this right here is three pieces. What I would do is I would do it in strips of uh, five by two. So do 10 at a time. Uh, these I would do about uh, five at a time as well. Uh, all facing the same direction with the uh, piece with the uh, clips in there, no problem. So it, it works out. Okay, so I dry brush neutral gray. Boom, 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 boom. Don't worry about it getting the cracks because you'll you'll fix that here in a second. Um, then what I would do is I would do this in chunks. I did a lot of this at once. Then what I would do is I would dry brush over with a lighter gray, so like this this like truer gray, if you will, um, and that would then kind of bring out these you know, show the recesses and kind of show like the highlights and everything like that too. Um, at that point, this is where I get, this is where I got kind of more inventive about it. Um, I actually started mixing my own, uh, inks, um, because this stuff uses a lot of wash, a lot of wash, a lot of inks. Um, for my whole set, I used about, uh, I used two different colors. I made a, uh, brown, like a chestnut and I made a black. And so what I did was I actually would, uh, trade between the two, like even on the same piece, there would be some parts that are a little more blacker, parts that are a little more browner. But I even would mix these two up to kind of get a, a between color. Um, and then I would apply that over one side. I would usually apply that over the whole thing, stand these up, let them dry. Gotta let it dry overnight. It, it's, it takes a while to dry. Um, then what I would do is I would go through and pick out certain bricks um, kind of randomly with like a really dark gray or like a golden brown. Um, I, one of these I use like a true brown. Um, stuff like that. And once done with all that, I would finalize with my Krylon UV resistant clear. And this would just kind of seal it in. It makes it pretty tough. Um, if you saw my drop test, that was what I used. Now this one and the other the other pieces are different. Um, these ones are a little more, I was a little more clever on. Uh, I had a lot less of them, so I, I did them pretty easy. These ones were uh, dry brush initially with, with the neutral gray. Then I actually dry brushed um, these ones with uh, like this wolf gray from Army Painter to kind of get that blue color. Then what's interesting here is all I did was just ink the edges. I didn't ink the center at all. And that's what kind of brought it out. So I did something similar with the other pieces that are kind of a brownish. I don't have any ready, ready but that's basically how I did it. Um, all said and done, I painted up, I got the, um, the third tier set, whatever those, that was, it was a lot of pieces. Um, I painted it all in maybe about, I think maybe four or five days. Um, and I used, uh, th this, this bad dude right here. Uh, this bad dude did a lot of work for me. Um, and it wasn't too bad, you know, just kind of, just kind of, um, I just kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it, like a, uh, assembly line. So pretty happy with the results. Uh, they're very durable. They look good. They don't scratch. I've been playing with them a little bit here and they feel pretty tight. Um, you know. I haven't had any problems with them and I dig them a lot. Uh, what I, one thing I will say though, is that when you do coat them with the clear coat, take it all apart, take every piece down to individual parts. Um, Cause that clear coat can get pretty sticky, but I didn't have much problem with the, um, the ink getting in between these into the, uh, uh, onto the clips to make them sticky. So it wasn't too much of a problem, but, and these all come apart, no problem. So, I mean, they're, they're the standard um, piece of the pop, the top pops off, clip comes out. I don't think I've split this one yet. They're, they're kind of hard to split the first time I split, but... Uh, okay, I'm not getting that one right now. I have to go like kind of... Let me get like a... Let me get something pried open. Because if you haven't opened these before, they're they're a little they're a little bit of a bugger to open. But... Uh, almost got it. There we go. So yeah, clips open, no problem. It'll go back together, no problem. Stuff like that. So, but like I said, pretty happy with these. And, uh, you know, it was about $300 difference between me getting them painted and not painted. Not to mention I got them a lot earlier, so... Very cool. But anyways, thank you very much.